Good morning. We are out now in uh, in the Cradle Mountain National Park. The views are stunning over here. And uh, yeah, we took the car up to the car park to, to, to Dove Lake. So this is our path. It's looking quite nice, quite sturdy for now. And I'm gonna show you the mountain and the lake, Dove Lake. Quite beautiful. Do you agree? I'm sure. Yeah, but we're hoping for the weather to clear a bit so we can see the mountain even better. So we're walking up to the mountain and uh, we started right now. It's uh, half past nine, quite late in the day already, but it's cold. Only about six degrees or so. And our height is 950 meters for now and climbing all the time. The total uh, walk will be three to four hours each way, so that means it's gonna be a full day hike. We get food and, and stuff with us, so everything should be fine. Not too shabby this day. It's such a long time since I did it the last time, so I really enjoy it. We are walked for 1k right now, but uh, 5.4 more to go until the hilltop. <coughs> and let's see, I read somewhere that it's gonna be uh, climbing some rock boulders at some point, so let's see how that's gonna go. They're probably just uh, scaring you a bit as they used to do. Dad is having a break. Resting his back for a bit, but uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be a bit steeper now. It's gonna be this uh, lovely path. Up, 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 up. It's like you will climb all the way to Mordor. <laughs> We're now at the height of 1,000 meters, walking for maybe 40 minutes. I'm just checking in here in the woods and uh, Dad said to me that yeah, I just walk on. I'm quicker so he didn't want to hold me back. So we both can enjoy the walk. And I guess that's in the end a very good decision. got quite steep here and I think I made it through the worst part for the moment but yeah I see it's uh, rocks all over I don't think dad can follow here I think he needs to do a loop around the lake or something we have a small waterfall here just the baby creek. I've reached the height now of 1,250 meters. The path is still rough, it's get, it gets rougher, I'm sure it's gonna get even rougher than rougher. <laughs> yeah, you need to help with your hands here, so it's really kind of climbing now. 
Do you guys want to see my path? You see it right, uh, right there. And it's gonna go down like that, down to the lake, and from there straight down to the big one, and then actually along the lake all the way to the car parking space. But I'm tumbling on now that way, I think, and then it's gonna be the approach up there from the right side. Wow. We are in the clouds now. I walked very quickly up this steep rocky path. Anyway, clouds are flying by now. now. There we have some other climbers. Yeah. The top seems to be covered in uh, clouds for now. It changed again. See, now you need to balance yourself on the rocks. Let's go here. We're heading up there. The guy is probably walking down. We're definitely getting there. 1470. It's a maximum 100 left to go. But it's steep. That's probably 70, 65 degrees maybe. Just came from that direction. Path I walked. And we're following these, these signs over here. And yeah, it's a snow path. Just need to find the next pole. If you can see anything from uh, through the clouds, it's very cloudy up here. Um, then these are the rocks I was climbing on. They are as big as me, bigger than me. And you really push yourself straight up like 90 degrees upwards so it can be very steep i had some some uh, some walls that were 90 degrees so you just grab and pull but it's great fun it's great fun and it's just rocks and uh, all of this milk ah i can see my route can you see it? It can be hard for the camera to uh, get the view through the clouds. I'm about to reach the top and I actually have some grass. You see? Grass up here. It's weird. Here you have a small statue that somebody built. Um, oh yeah, I'm off the path again. It's so easy that you just take a wrong, wrong way. You need to be very careful to follow the path or the poles, these guys. And I think this is the actual top. But I met a guy and he told me, go here. Here you will see a metal plate showing different kind of places. And this is the ultimate top. Wish that I could stay forever this young. Not afraid to close my eyes. Life's a game made for Oh man, I just loved, I really loved the climb of the big boulder rocks. Wow, you go up very fast, you go down very fast. There is a million routes to take. You just uh, grab on the rock and you pull yourself up. Everybody is slow here. And I'm just uh, passing everybody. It's, it's lots of fun. Um, yeah, anyway, it was lots of uh, clouds up there. I'm back down here now. You're, you'll see the, sm the, the trails. I'm gonna take that one. And then head for Marriott Outlook. So, in that way I won't be doing the same route back again. 
look who is suddenly coming here. It's my dad with his orange jacket as me. I did not think he would come this far. He's done a great effort, it was a steep track. Why did he die? Why did he die? I can't be with my spaghetti legs. <laughs> Good job. Guys, walking down. I met my dad. Now we're taking another route uh, through Marion Scenic Lookout. And it's gonna be one and a half hours so walking. Anyway, we're heading for the car park now. Hey guys, look at this. Probably one of the more scenic views of this place. You have a very nice lake that we walked along. On the right side. <coughs> and right over there we have the car park. That's where we're heading now. Next. Hey guys, we are back in the car. And the car feels great. Not two plush seats, but it's still very nice. We walked for uh, about six hours, a bit less. And uh, yeah, it was a very nice walk. And Dad came a long way. So congrats to him for completing a good, good, good walk. And, uh, and yes, I made it to the top and uh, I'm very happy because I think this was the most giving top ever for me. Climbing those uh, big uh, rock blocks, yeah, it was something new for me. I loved it and I would have loved to go back actually. And, uh, and swing away with the rocks. Anyway, uh, yeah, now we're driving over to uh, uh, Launceston, I think. And then we're gonna go to St. Helens. And uh, yeah, we're gonna spend the night there. And then we'll see the East Coast tomorrow. <laughs> and Ugla. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> 